welcome back everybody. Today we're going over this light that you see right here in my hands. This is a Surefire G2X 600 lumen tactical edition. So the tactical edition means that you only have one mode. Uh, so basically it's going to be 600 lumens no matter what um, versus the Pro or the LE or some of the other uh, G2X variants out there which are going to have dual modes. Um, so I personally like the tactical uh, light here, the tactical edition rather, uh, for a budget weapon light. Of course you could use it for an EDC type of light and it would do just fine in that regard. Um, but for somebody who's looking for um, you know, a light that they can trust but won't break the bank and still be able to use a ton of different aftermarket mounts that are out there, this is one I recommend all the time. And I've been recommending the 320 lumen version, the previous version of this light for years. So today uh, we're going to run it through its paces, test the beam pattern and those sorts of things, go over the details of it and let you know what we think of it overall. But first we're going to let the dogs take a look at it and then get into that beam comparison. For those of you new to the channel, that spot right there where the wood and iron fence meets up, that's approximately 35 feet away. Those trees over there are 40 to 50 feet away, just to give you some sort of uh, range estimation that we have here. This is the output from the 6PX Tactical. The light that you're looking at right here is the Max Vision G2X light on low as it comes on normally. So this is the low setting. So as you can see, not super bright at all. And when I go ahead and double click it rather, this is our 800 lumen Max Vision setting. What you'll probably notice as soon as I turn the uh, G2X on anyway, is that this one here has less of a hotspot. This right here would be the G2X. And then over here, this is our Max Vision. So I really want to make the point that people often say like, oh, this 800 lumens is simply too bright and uh, you know, you'll blind yourself or whatever the case may be. Whereas if you actually look at this one here, which is the 6PX 600 lumen output, the candela is much brighter. The intensity on that hotspot is much brighter than what we have here with the Max Vision output. So again, 6PX tactical, Max Vision 800 lumen. So you really want to pick the right tool for the job and definitely Candela has as much to do with it as the lumens do. Here we have the output from the Streamlight Polytac X. This has an 18650 battery in it as you guys see it and it's fully charged. You can see that really well defined hot spot there on the wood fence. And again, we sort of have a little bit of an edge there on the uh, throat or rather on the spill portion, just like we have with the G2X. Now I'm going to turn the G2X on over here on the right. And what you'll notice is that the stream light has more of a um, like a white light, if that makes sense, whereas the Surefire has more of a neutral or natural tone to it. If that makes sense, you can kind of see the temperature of each compared to each other. Again, this is the G2X. And then here we have the Polytech X. Because I know folks will ask, this is the output from the 320 lumen version of the light. So the previous version, you guys can see my barrel shadow there. Um, but if we compare it to the new 600 lumen version, the output difference should be stark and you should definitely see a difference there in output. Again, this is the 320 lumen version here and then the 600 lumen. So we've seen the beam. Let's get into the light itself. Um, it has this uh, sort of exposed switch here on the tail cap. What I mean by exposed is that it's not shrouded so you can't tail cap sand it as you see there. Uh, some folks like that, some folks like it protected, sort of a preference thing. This allows a little bit easier access to it. Um, basic operation of the light is going to be to press and hold for your momentary on, and then if you want constant on, you're going to click it until you hear that click, and when you turn it off, obviously you're just going to click it one more time. Uh, Runtime on this one is going to be down here on your screen. It takes two CR123A batteries, which we'll show you here in just a second. Um, like most high output uh, lights, this one's going to have a step down at some point. Try to figure out when that was earlier today. Uh, I left it on high for just over 15 minutes. It didn't notice any type of step down at all. Of course, again, it will happen at some point, but basically the light got so hot that it was kind of annoying uh, to hold and uh, it was still going at, you know, what at least I could perceive to my eye to be 600 lumens. So again, comes with two CR123A batteries. I know some folks will always ask if you can use rechargeables with it. The answer from Surefire is going to be no. However, I can tell you I've, I've tried it and it worked. Um, whether or not it will work long term or damage the light, again, Surefire says don't do it. So we'll leave that one up to you. The light itself is going to be IPX7 rated. Uh, so we're going to have our O-ring here uh, sealing the, the tail cap in and then we have good threads there. They are lubricated with some sort of grease there from the factory. You guys can get a look here at the spring on the inside. 
And while Surefire says it is not a weapon light, um, you guys can see the spring there is probably beefier than what you're going to see on some weapon lights out there. Like you guys have probably seen already in this video, I've ran it on plenty of uh, weapons, not had any issues with it. And you can screw it all the way down without it turning on. I know some tail caps out there that Surefire and other companies offer, if you actually lock it down, it will turn on. Uh, that is not the case here with this light. The body is made out of what Surefire calls a nitrolon substance, and basically it's a glass-filled reinforced polymer. Um, so it's kind of grippy. It feels hard when you touch it, but then when you contrast that with the actual head and the bezel, which is aluminum, um, you can definitely kind of feel the difference. There's a little bit of give here in the nitrolon. Not much, but just a touch. And of course, up here on the aluminum head, there isn't. The body of the light is one inch, and then we have, I believe, 1.25 inches up here on the bezel has slight crenellation on there, and you guys can get a look there at that reflector. There's some orange peel type of uh, quality to it, which is what gives you sort of the uh, spill that you guys saw earlier, but it's also a very deep reflector, which is what's giving you the uh, Candela, I believe 87,000, or rather 8,700 uh, Candela rating. So it's definitely got a hot spot, but a good balanced overall beam. I'm sure some of you have never seen this light in person, so just a quick size comparison here for you. We have the Surefire E2D, it's a Defender Series light, it's a two cell light just like the uh, G2X is here, and then we have the G2X, of course, and we have the G2X Max Vision that you guys saw earlier and that I reviewed a few months ago. Then we have our uh, Streamlight Polytech X, so you can kind of see how the size stacks up across the board. These are all going to be one inch body, so you can see how that works, but then of course the bezels are going to be different sizes. The tan light that you see here is the 320 lumen version, and then of course we have our 600 lumen version that you guys have seen throughout the video. Uh, this one, and they both really look very, very similar. The big difference, if you look at it, is the actual LED is a little bit different, but you wouldn't know it looking at both of them. The kind of distinguishing feature looking at them uh, externally is going to be the tail caps that you guys can see there. You can see how they're shaped differently. So that's one real easy way to notice the difference between the 320 lumen and the 600 lumen version. At this point in the video, I'm pretty sure most of you guys know where I stand on this light. I do like it a lot for the money for what you get for it. Speaking of for the money, I think right now the MSRP on Surefire Slight is listed around $70. If you look around online, you can generally find it for $60 and we'll put uh, links down below. Um, so for $60, you get a light that as far as I can tell from everything I've seen in my use, you really can count on when you need it. I know Surefire, like we said, doesn't list it as a weapon light, so with that caveat aside, uh, it holds up pretty well. I ran it on AKs, ARs, even a 308 AR-10, AR and uh, again, have had zero issues with it. It doesn't flicker or anything like that. Um, so it's been good to go in that regard. Durability has been good. As you guys saw, we dropped it a bunch and uh, had no issues there. Um, has a good warranty behind it. One downside that I think a lot of people are going to see when they look at this is that um, it takes CR123s rather than an 18650. Fair enough. Uh, like I said, I did use the rechargeables, I'm not saying to do so, but I did, and they worked just fine. But I think a lot of people are just going to put this on a, you know, a rifle or whatever the case may be, or leave it by a bedside, and not going to use it a ton. Not that you can't, but I think that's what most people are going to do with it. It's what I did with my 320 lumen version, it rides on my Beater AR, and uh, it just sits there. I don't use it a ton, but it's there, and I know it'll work when I need it, and I really think that's where this light shines. So. That's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions about it, by all means, post down below in the comment section. You can also post over at my Facebook page as always. But thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. If you're new to the channel and like what you see here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see all of you in the next video.
little harder than a video game, huh? All right, finger off the trigger. Um, Safety up. <laughs>